Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, here to share a profound comment one of our regular viewers shared with us. We'll go by the first initial, M. This is what they wrote. There are reasons why God told us to love everyone, even our enemies, because someone could be our enemy one day and our brother or sister in Christ the next. We never know whose heart God is working on, so it's best to love everyone. There are no white, black, or Latino neighborhoods in heaven. We are going to be up there side by side living in harmony, or we won't be up there at all. God is very clear. Either come together in love or hold on to the hate and burn. And if Jesus could forgive the people who were nailed, who were nailing him to the cross, then there's nothing we have a right to, to hold a grudge over anyone for anything. I had to kind of clean that up a little bit because I wasn't flowing right at the end. But it, Jesus, I'm, I'm going to clarify that for you to make sure you hear what she's really saying. If Jesus has the right to suck the, the life out of those people who are nailing him to the cross, these are people he created with his own hands. But he not only allowed them to do their dastardly deed to him for our sakes. He forgave them as well as you and me. Now, if Jesus, who committed no sin, could love and forgive ugly, hateful people like that, who are we who were born and shaped in iniquity who are we to refuse to forgive this one, that one, the other one, or to extend love? Who are we? Nah, we don't have that right. Anyway, God bless you. I hope you're encouraged by that. And I'm not going to add much else because they pretty much said that right on the nail. Think on that. God bless you.